The Autodesk Factory Design Suite provides a tight integration between the layout environment in Inventor and the engineering review environment in Navisworks. This capability allows for changes made to assets on the Inventor layout to be quickly and easily incorporated into Navisworks with no rework involved. In this video demonstration, we will learn how the switchback command is used from within Navisworks to edit factory assets in Inventor and then incorporate the changes back into Navisworks. To use this function, both Inventor and Navisworks must be installed and running simultaneously. It has been determined that the existing 16 racks on the factory floor will not provide sufficient storage space for production needs. 20 racks are required. I will now open the selection tree and select one of the groupings of racks. The Item Tools tab now highlights. Opening this tab displays the switchback command. As an alternative to the switchback command, I can also right-click over the highlighted rack in the graphics window and select Switchback from the context menu. Invoking the switchback command automatically opens the factory assembly into Inventor and uses the same viewport as was current in Navisworks. Observe that the rack is still highlighted and is ready for editing. Note the key parameters that appear in the browser panel. These parameters were originally defined in Inventor and exported when the rack was built as a factory asset. I will now change the values of two key parameters to add additional racks. After pressing Enter, the rack refreshes with the new values. I will now select the other rack and repeat the procedure. Now that we have the required number of racks, I save the inventor assembly. Once the assembly is saved, I return to the Navisworks environment and click the Refresh command on the Home tab. The revised Inventor Factory assembly is now read back into Navisworks, showing the updated racks.